the spirit is moving we prophesy tonight the spirit is moving Woo, you sing it the spirit is moving all over the world all over the world come on sing the spirit is moving everybody sing the spirit is moving Woo. your spirit is moving all over the world all over the world every hand raised and sing your spirit is moving Woo. your spirit is moving your spirit is moving all over the world all over the world come on sing it again your spirit is moving Woo. your spirit is moving your spirit is moving <laughs> all over the world Woo. i sense the wine of the spirit your spirit is moving Come on, drink, 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 drink. The spirit is moving. Ha <laughs> The spirit is moving. All over the world. All over the world. Ooh, drink, drink, drink. The spirit is moving. Come on, you drink it up tonight. The spirit is moving. The spirit is moving all over, all over the world. Woo! <laughs> drink, 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 drink. New wine is flowing. Woo! Your spirit is moving. Your spirit. Woo! Woo! Come on, there's a fresh oil and a new wine in this room tonight. Your spirit is moving. Tip your head back and drink it. Spirit is moving. Woo. Spirit is moving. All over the world. All over the world. Sing it again. Your spirit is moving. Your spirit is moving. Woo. Spirit is moving. All over the world. Now everybody lift your hands and receive the new wine. Come on, drink, 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 drink. Come to the river. Come on, come to the river and drink tonight. Woo. Drink it up, drink it up, drink it up. This is that that Joel prophesied. Come on, drink. Drink, drink, drink. All over the world. Drink right now. In your living rooms, drink right now. Woo! Ha! inside blood and water flows but at that moment of time in history the doorway to the throne room flung open the power of the impossible was released upon the face of the earth how do I know that dead men walk And I saw the right hand of him that sat on the throne. The book was written. 
and it was sealed with seven seals and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book who is worthy to open the book and loose its seven seals and no man in heaven nor on the earth neither under the earth was able to open it not even to look upon it and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open it and to read the book or to look upon it but then one of the elders said unto me do not weep son of man for the lion of the tribe of Judah uh, can I say it again and one of the elders that were around the throne said to me do not weep son of man for the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David he had prevailed somebody say he had prevailed he had prevailed he had prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof and I beheld and I looked and in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as if it was slain having seven eyes and seven horns and the seven spirits of God that roam throughout all the earth there's something happens when we worship the lamb there's something happens when we see the lamb God begin to talk to me this year that we must see what we worship we must see what we worship can I say it again when you get a revelation over what you worship who you worship where you worship why you worship heaven's glory is released upon the earth mm? we want to see miracle signs and wonders that can only happen in an atmosphere of heaven <laughs> Look at your neighbor say atmosphere of heaven. Atmospheres of heaven can be released all over the earth and we know it as portals. Look at your neighbor say portals. Look at your neighbor say we're going to school tonight. Look at somebody say we're going to school tonight. Say we're going to the school of the supernatural. Look at somebody say we're going to the school of the supernatural. We cannot have church where there's just one man doing miracles, one man bringing the glory. Uh -huh. The Bible says where you yourself are supposed to be teachers, you're still having need of people to teach you. When you're supposed to be eating meat, you are still wanting milk. Put away the milk. Look at your neighbor say, put away, put it away. Say, put it away. Look at somebody say, put it away. Uh -huh. You know why we're going to put it away? Because God wants to give us the kingdom. He cannot take the kingdom and he, he cannot take the kingdom and give it to a child because as long as the heir is still a child, he's still also a slave. Okay. Oh, come on now. So he needs us to grow up into his fullness so he can give us the keys to the kingdom. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on, come on, come on. While you're still concerned about this and that, God wants to give you the keys to the kingdom so that you can be a mover and a shaker upon the face of the earth, a history maker and a nation shaker born to change the world forever but he needs us to grow up tell your neighbor put away the milk put away the milk put away the milk God wants us to grow up into his fullness grow up into what grow up into his very image <laughs> you see before we can grow up the reason why I got you standing is because I'm making a prophetic declaration about a shift of position you see your posture has everything to do with where you're going with God oh come on now come on come on have you ever seen a runner that's at the beginning of a starting line he's positioned his body is positioned at the start his eyes and his mind is positioned at the end <laughs> you see when you are ready to run a race and to take on a journey with God number one you gotta lay aside the things that easily beset you there's things that have been trying to sabotage your maturity. There's things that are trying to sabotage you moving on and moving forward with the things of God. And number two, you've got to keep your eyes on Jesus, knowing that he is the author. Somebody say author, author, author. He is the author and also the finisher of the faith of your faith. That means he will begin a good work in us. He's also 
faithful to complete it unto the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is something about the finishing power that God is releasing in this time for us to be able to manifest the fullness of the kingdom of God because the world is tired of looking at a dead church. Can I talk to you? The world is tired of looking at a dead church. Preachers, pastor, we are tired of preaching to dead congregations. Aren't you tired of leading, trying to lead worship to people that are dead? We're in a state of comatose. Did you hear me? The church is in a state of comatose, but when the... Oh my God, uh, there is a lifeline that is being cast to the earth, uh, and that is the spirit of glory. God's been talking to me for the last month about the spirit of glory. Now the spirit of glory is not an anointing. An anointing is to do works. The spirit of glory is to help you metamorphosize. Oh. For you to begin to manifest the kingdom and the glory and the power of God. Tell, look at your neighbors say metamorphosize. The metamorphosis is the process that a butterfly goes through before it can come into its destiny. Oh, come on now. It starts off as a little caterpillar. It changes process. Oh, come on. Look at your neighbor say change, 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 change. You see, change is every, something that all of us want but none of us want to do. Oh, come on now. Say metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. It starts off as a caterpillar. It moves into a cocoon. You see, God has had many people in hiding. 2014 is not over. We are standing prophetically on the first day of the eighth month. God is declaring a day of new beginnings for every one of you tonight. Oh, you're not saying anything tonight. I said, God declares it's your day of new beginnings. Incidentally, number one speaks of unity. Number two speaks of agreement. Number three speaks about resurrection power. Number four speaks about nations. Number five speaks about grace. Number six speaks about man. Number seven speaks about perfection. And when God said it is done, I've called, I've done everything, he steps back and he says, now I bring you to number eight where we started all over again. What God has been doing in 2014, He's been bringing many of us full circle. How many of you have been experienced that? Full circle. We are coming back to the core of what God has called us to do. I call it the original blueprint. Huh? The original mandate. The first calling. The first love. 2014 is the year of firsts. 2014 is the year of firsts and if we do not correctly identify the season that we are in we will misdiagnose our plan of action so that's why as we celebrate with you this week this anniversary week we are trusting God that God will release a fresh download upon the church so that you will be able to navigate forward into the purposes can I say it again into the purposes of God the Bible says the Bible says there's a plan that I have for you when God reveals the plan he puts you through process <laughs> you see the plan but you don't like the process unfortunately the journey for you Joseph is through the pit to the palace because the process Gives you the legal authority to walk in your gifting and calling. I don't want to listen to people preach to me out of head knowledge. I want people that have been in the pit, that has come out, been, with the, been in the fire, that has come out. People that have come through the storm and come out. Come on now, they have a story. I said they have a, does anybody here have a story? Oh my God. That's why we sing the song, Forever You Will Be, the Lamb Upon... Never said forever you will be the lion on the throne. Because God wants us to remember for Him to be on the throne, He had to be a lamb that was slain. 
He earned his stripes. He earned his position to be called Lord of the nations. And I want to tell you people today, many of you might be on a point of giving up. I want to tell you something. You are just going through process, but there's a coming to an end of the process. And God is bringing you into your purpose. And God is bringing you into your destiny moment. God is bringing you into your destiny moment. Dad, I'm so glad to be with you. It's an honor that you chose me to celebrate with you. And I pray that what God is about to do this weekend is not only going to change the spiritual dynamics of this house, but it will move geographically, translocationally, breaking barriers and walls, moving into the realms of territorial spirits and bringing things that were in the future into today before you sit down let me make a declaration power of declarations has the power to make anything that was impossible possible I'm pregnant with the future I believe there's a people on the on the earth today that we are pregnant with the future we are pregnant with the future the trials of your faith has worked for you <laughs> an exceeding weight of glory you see in the realm of this in the natural you count numbers in the natural you estimate the power of an organization or a church or or whatever you might be counting by counting the people but in the spirit god's god weighs us how weighty are you in the realm of the spirit what kind of weight do you have in the spirit what kind of sanctioning authority has god placed upon you what kind of legal authority have you in the realm of the spirit you see this is why we need to grow up this is why we need to come into our fullness because god wants to transfer authority uh -huh. there's a difference between power and authority oh come on can i say it there's a difference between power and authority the devil has power but he has no authority <laughs> he has power but you have been given all power and all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to you oh come on now and it's time to take over Get ready, I'm speaking to your spirit man right now. Get ready, I talk about 
You see, look at me, everybody. You can choose to be a spectator or you can choose to be a participator. A spectator stands at the banks of the river and watches other people get wet. A participator gets into the river. How many of you want to get in something this weekend that you've never received before? How many of you, oh my God, I sense the power of God in this room. How many of you here tonight, listen, that says, God, I need a fresh touch of fire. I want you to leave your seats, run to the front right now. God, I need something fresh. Come, come, run, 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 run out of your seats, out of your seats, out of your seats. Come, God, I need you to touch me. God, I need you to move. Something's going to break in the realm of the spirit tonight. Tashita kasikato. Take hands as you come, bring them forward. Take hands with one another. The glory of God is rising. The glory of God is rising. The glory of God is rising. I feel it rising. I feel it rising. Take hands with one another, everybody. Everybody, take hands. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. 
those of you on the floor don't be in a hurry the rest of you want to keep your hands joined keep your hands joined every eye closed that was just the first level of anointing but the glory of God is going to fall and pour tonight every hand joined and raised every hand joined and raised Glory of God is in this room right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In the glory, 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 everybody right now. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm telling you, you don't need anybody to touch you. The glory is going to rise upon you. The glory of God.